What's up everybody? My name is White Dragons and welcome to the show. If you haven't noticed, I've been a little busy and the daylight's coming soon, so I figure I might as well start recording now. I haven't taken care of that little static noise just yet, but I'm getting there. So, let's talk about what we've done. So far, I moved out from Zena's house up to our own house. So, I wanted to make something special, and I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Let's 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 leave Zena's place alone. Let's let's make let's make it a memorial. So that's what I've done. The torch in the middle stands for Zena's death, and it's also an easy way for me to access the garden. Ta-da! Now, stairs were giving me a problem, so I just went ahead and stayed. Fuck you, monsters. I'm trying to do something kind here. Shut up! Anyways, uh, I wanted to use steps, but I couldn't figure out how exactly to go down them. So, there you go. Maybe someday I'll figure it out. Um, I didn't do very much to her place. I did... I do need to take this off. And we do need to take this off. And we gotta take this off. There we go. Not the original, but it'll do. I also added in a, uh, basically a hallway to access the house. Um, monsters were having a little problem. Ah, did you see that? Yes, do you know what that's from? That's from the tech that we got in our last episode. I'll show you real quick. So we go to inventory. If you'll notice there's an energy dash. Okay. I'll show you how to get I'll show you how to get that real quick. Before we even God dang it. Now I don't know what's going on here with my pickaxe. Obviously the lifespan of it's dead, but it's not breaking, so I can't replace it. Okay. Let me just step out here. Jump up here. And there we go. Alright, so, how did I get this tech? Well, what you do is, once you get the blueprint, you'll go over here to your tech, okay? And just basically, click on the energy dash and put it in the lock-in. So, like, for example, if I wanted to move it, I could move it. Or if I wanted to take it and move it to something else, you know, like move this here and then put something there, uh, I can do that as well. But that's how you use the tech ones. Now the 3D printer is basically I don't exactly know what it does. I haven't had access to it yet. I haven't had it doesn't you know I don't have access to it. Uh I have no clue what it what it's for. So I'm kinda like lost. But I'll get there. I'll get there. Um I haven't done anything with fuel consumption yet because I'm really liking my world. I haven't gone as far as to the left of our world as I could, but you never know. Also, here's a nifty little trick for you. You can smack your enemies, all right, with your sword, then switch over to your bow and arrow, kill them off, and most of the time you'll get your, uh, your meat or whatnot. So let's try it again. I, I'm looking for leather right now. Okay, switch to the bow. And. Oops, shit. Well. There we go. And we have meat. The birds so far have been the ones that give me the leather for some strange reason. And I haven't gone really cave exploring. I haven't gone really cave exploring. I see that down there. I'm just not interested in it right now. And I have died a lot, so I have lost a lot of uh, pixels, I guess is the best way to call them. Uh, so now, this energy dash is pretty damn awesome. As you can see, we can just basically run over terrain very quickly. There's a fire one. Let's see, let's see if I can get him to give me leather, please. Fuck, 
right into that one. Okay, thank you. It's really weird because sometimes you'll get me when you kill the enemy with your sword. Sometimes you won't. And the music's probably really loud. Let me turn that down. Sorry about that. I just, the music's so awesome. There we go, sorry. Music's just really awesome, so... I like keeping it on. But you can see with the energy dash, I mean, we just go through... We just zoom right through a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I don't know what the hell these are. I'm kinda interested in... You know, find out what they are. That is a skull on a spike, okay. I'm gonna take them. Thank you very much. Now I'll probably wind up tearing this one down here and moving it somewhere else. Or using the material for something else to be more exact. Please don't do this. Don't, don't. Okay, good. So, also the, the, all I've been able to figure out so far with this stuff is that when you hit E, you pull it and then you get seeds. And that was plant fibers. I have no idea. And then over here, you can go E again. And you get more plant fibers. And you only get two corn seeds. That's all I've been able to get so far. Which is really weird. So what I've been doing is, is I've just been planting them right away. Getting it out of the way as quickly as possible. Like there's corn seed and here's our wheat seed. Now, as you can tell, you're going to get more wheat than you are anything else, so I just go ahead and plant them. Uh, I put the torches in because I'm thinking maybe Minecraft thing, where it has to be a certain amount of light has to be exposed. I do know that if you are not in the loading area, they will not grow. So, do keep that in mind. But, uh, yeah, that's... I mean, the house is basically stuff from the from the dungeon we found apparently those are dungeons and uh, I'm just you have to space them out one space at a time so what I was thinking was maybe I could do it like this see it's lit it's lit there it's lit there I don't think I can space them so I'll just leave that alone and then I'm keeping my oh, I'm keeping my eye on the corn here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Maybe I'm not supposed to be eating using corn. I don't know, but guess it goes by. Anyways, so but yeah, I've got everything occupied. Everything looking good. Uh, I do know there is something we can make with our leather because we've got nine leather here. Let's go over to the spool. We can make a snow infantry helmet. So we're going to craft that. And I think it's automatically put on us. Yeah, there you go. It's automatically put on us. Now, what kind of... Let's see. That gives us... I'm guessing that the thing is for... Um, a defense. And the sun is for warmth. And I don't know what the what this is for. They need to do something about that. Where make it where you can see what it is. So that's what it's gotta be. Okay. Cool beans. Alright. Oh, and by the way, if you want to trash something, see where it says send a trash, you just put the item in the trash and it goes away. That's it. No more that doesn't exist anymore. Well that was pretty nifty. You know, you don't have a trash can laying around. By the way, if you ever have to review your tech, you can just look right here and see what you got. Um, my best guess, this is rocket packs. Um, this is accessories. Uh, and then pets. I haven't figured out how the pet thing works yet, but I will. Uh, here, you can make bread with your wheat. So we just craft all this up. And then you have sweet corn, which you can make as well. Okay, he's getting peggish. Now, the burger requires raw alien meat and bread. We've got 
three out of one and four out of two so we can probably make two of those yep now with that being said do keep this in mind that everything you have here it's gonna cost you this looks like a pair of goggles I swear it does anyways um that everything you do here will affect your out will affect your overall outcome so do keep that in mind uh, I do keep steady supply of meat on me just in case the sweet corn I don't know if this actually does anything or not it won't cook and I'll show you right now that it won't cook so put the sweet corn in here and I take my meat out of course okay so it says it's probably even better if if I cook it so you cook it and nothing so maybe there's something in the near future that we'll have that will allow us to do that I don't know I do want to see if this is going to feed me okay so it does give me f almost full health so you could use this for a little while if you needed to but I really wish we had a helmet that didn't sh hide our face that kind of sucks I mean snow infantry helmet helps avoid cold hey colds I don't know dude so anyways we're just gonna lay all that out uh, and the skull things what do we do oh I gotta put the leather up get the leather out, leather out of the way there we go and we need to think about what we're gonna do for uh, coming up coming up coming up um, the platform here so that I can jump across uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice little entrance way. Uh, you think right there? Yeah, right there will do. And take that. That and that and that. Alright, and I had platforms. They are right y'all. We just take the platforms, and all we're really going to do with the platforms is make it so that we have the accessibility of of getting out. See, like this. See, now monsters can't really oppose a threat to us because we have this. Uh, now, what I'm thinking is the next setup should be... Um, Probably maybe going down there and seeing what we can do as far as as how far we can go. Um, there's another side I haven't gotten to yet. See like that right there. See that little shit right there? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've been dealing with this whole entire time. Those little bastards. They just invade everything. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Let's knock. Let's knock this one down. Uh, yeah, all the way to the far uh, right, there's a whole nother room. And I'm kind of interested in going there. Uh, I figured out how to get past all the poison water. You just basically put dirt in it. And I shit you not, you put dirt in it, you can it'll just soak it right up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I want to improve on these ledges here just a little bit. Don't want to spend too much time on it. I kind of just wanted to show you what was going on in uh, in the world so far. Uh, nothing special. Uh, I promised you that I would once I got the house up and going, it would I would show you how to you know show you the show you around. So. Why won't that connect? There we go. And we'll put one more right there. Oh, yes. Uh, let's say, for example, you wanted this cobblestone back here. Well, if you left-click, you can't do anything. However, if you right-click, you'll do background stuff. So, uh, let's say you're cave splunking and you just start and you don't want to waste a lot of torches. Well, you can actually knock out the background 
to give yourself light up to a certain level and then it just goes away you have to do it the old-fashioned way with torches uh, the, the flashlight if you can if you're smart enough and I'll show you here real quick a couple of cool little things with the flashlight that I've discovered um, 